Well, a Merry Christmas to everyone on this chilly morning. It is a cold Christmas here in Florida and one of the coldest Christmases ever in recorded history. So note that you were here for it. It is cold and it is uh, looking at least sunnier early on today, but it won't be sunny all day. We're actually gonna have the clouds rolling back in again, and those are expected to inhibit and or at least not allow those temperatures to warm up as much as they could. Even if there was 100% sunshine today, it would still be cold for most of us. Lows today, we fell back below freezing again this morning. Some spots fell into the 20s, Claremont and Sanford, Orlando 30 degrees, and we were in the low 20s in Gainesville and Oklahoma. Cala. I'm expecting one more night of these below freezing temperatures. Not everyone is going to see below freezing temperatures, and I'll have a look at who is going to be above it finally for the night, but definitely pretty rough to have temperatures this cold here in Florida this far south because of the impact to the agriculture industry, and that is something that we deal with here with these Arctic outbreaks. That's always a rough thing for the agriculture industry, especially the uh, citrus industry. Now, clouds are going to be not our friend this afternoon because they're going to be rolling up from the south. So we're going to see increasing clouds for today, especially from I-4 into the south. By tonight, though, they may actually help us because clouds act as a blanket, believe it or not. It kind of traps the day's heat or whatever warmth you saw during the day and keeps it trapped under those clouds. So kind of a neat effect that there we have. But with clear skies, those temperatures will cool efficiently. So looking at at least for the rest of today, we'll likely see mostly cloudy skies through this afternoon. More sunshine found to the north in Alachua County and also into Flagler County along the beaches. But to the south, we're probably going to see mostly cloudy skies. There could be some breaks in sunshine. I'm not saying it's going to be 100% cloudy skies, but it definitely will be on the cloudier side for the most part, and especially through the evening hours. No rain, though. No snow for sure, but it will be a quiet Christmas, but a very cold one with overcast conditions expected tonight, which will actually help in preventing some spots from really dropping with those temperatures. It could be even colder tonight, but I'm expecting another night of freezing cold weather for areas. Some spots are going to fall into the 20s. Some will be in the mid 30s and stay above freezing and won't be uh, below freezing for the rest of the year. Orlando for today. Temperatures will be warming up to around 46 degrees. We'll see that increase in cloud coverage throughout the day and those temperatures to not be very warm. In fact, this could be the second coolest Christmas day ever in recorded history in Orlando. But the feels like forecast, it's going to feel like it's 38 degrees this afternoon in Orlando. 37 degrees in Ocala. That wind is just not our friend. It hasn't been our friend since that cold front swept through. In the overnight, we'll see those temperatures by 7 p.m. in the evening. Once that sun sets, those cold temperatures start to sink and we'll feel like it's below freezing for our northern counties and into the morning hours as you wake up on Monday morning. If you have to go back to work tomorrow morning, I know it was not fun for me this morning getting up because it was so cold. It will feel plenty cold again tomorrow morning, even with temperatures not technically as cold in spots. Still Still expect to feel like it's below freezing for almost our entire area on Monday morning. Tonight's lows will again be below freezing for mostly areas to the northwest. 30 degrees in Leesburg, 26 degrees in Ocala. We still have that north wind, but along the coastline and along the Space Coast, temperatures are expected to be above freezing. So no freeze warnings in place for uh, areas to the south, especially Osceola County and Brevard County, where we could fall only to 40 degrees tonight in Melbourne. But we do have freeze warnings for a lot of the rural areas. I it, know it's the entire county that's issued, but areas like Orlando, the metro of Orlando is not going to fall below freezing tonight, but in far to the northwest in northwestern parts of the county, probably going to see those temperatures near freezing and certainly where the purple is. That means those temperatures will be about 20 to 8 degrees or lower. What is called a hard freeze where those temperatures are definitely much colder and you're freezing for a lot longer. Today's highs will warm into the 40s warm, but again, really cool. 47 degrees in Sanford, 45 degrees in Gainesville. Another day with below average temperatures. We're at least going to thaw out soon enough, but today so cold, those temperatures, the all time record, believe it or not, on a Christmas day was 1983. And a lot of people recall that. I've seen people say that they even lost their jobs working at uh, greenhouses because of temperatures being this cold. Uh, when you had a 36 degree high, that was a record for the high for Christmas day. But we could fall right at the second place, 49 degrees, 1934. We'll see if we can beat that. We'll update you there. As we go ahead, this is cold isn't going to last forever. As you know, we live in Florida. 
We're not even going to be alone in that. We're going to see a warm building pattern as we go through this week, and that wind is going to shift to the southwest. And by Wednesday, the 70s are going to return for highs. We'll get some sunshine, even upper 70s by Friday. That is definitely going to feel a lot different from the weather that we are experiencing this weekend. In the seven day, if we're talking about the lows and how long you have to wear that coat or that jacket, you're definitely going to need it for the next few mornings. Impact day Monday because of those cold temperatures in the morning. Highs still only in the 50s, so it's definitely going to be cool to start out your week. Tuesday, though, we make our way back into the 60s, and by Wednesday, we're at 70 degrees with the 70s making a return and lows back in the 60s by Friday. I should note that going into next weekend, we are going to see rain chances returning. Models indicating there could be a front on the way. So for New Year's Eve, as we get close to that, there is a possibility we could be dealing with those rain showers. Thanks for tuning in and checking out. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Ian Cassette. Have a happy holiday.